Hello, viewers, and welcome to today's Open Heavens Reflection. My name is Tunde Dada, a pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Kingdom Builders family in Luton. Today we are looking at the topic, nothing but the blood, nothing but the blood. And our text is from Psalm 40, verse 1 and 2. The psalmist says, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of the merry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my goings. A memory verse is taken from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 36. Uh, I read from verse 25. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean from all your filthiness, and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A reflection. The book of Revelation, chapter 5, verse 8 and 9 says, now when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb, each having a harp and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song, saying, You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seal, for you were slain and have redeemed us to God by your blood out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation. We must realize that it is only the blood of Jesus that can redeem us. Many are looking in the wrong place for redemption, and many do not even realize that they need redemption. Do you know that man as a species makes excuses for their behavior when in fact it is iniquity whose only solution is the blood of Jesus? The heart of man is wicked and selfish. The writer of Psalm 40 that we we read earlier on describes himself has been brought out of a horrible pit and merry clay and being placed on a rock. Only the blood of Jesus is powerful enough to do this. Revelation chapter 1 verse 5 and 6 says, And from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler over the kings of the earth, to him who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and has made us kings and priests to his God, and Father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. The blood of Jesus is powerful enough to turn you into a king and priest unto God. Hallelujah. And that is the reason why the songwriter wrote, My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame but holy trust in Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other grand are sinking sand, all other grand are sinking sand. The penalty of sin according to the Bible is death. However, Jesus placed our case before the Father so that we escape punishment. Jesus took the punishment for our sins shedding his blood so that you could be free from guilt and shame. As our advocate, Jesus restores to us our lost sense of righteousness. For he said, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. But he does, he does more than just forgive us our sins. He cleanses us from all unrighteousness. He cleanses us from that sin consciousness or spiritual inferiority complex that would keep us from going into God's presence. When Jesus advocates for you, you can enter boldly into the Father's presence without fear. You do not need to hold on to guilt from the past. Your past has been washed away by the blood of Jesus. Glory to God. If the Lord is on your side, then who can be against you? Make sure that you are on the side of God today and victory is guaranteed. That victory is guaranteed. Our action point for today, any claim of forgiveness of sin that is not attained through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ is fake. Thank you for being part of today's telecast. I hope you have been blessed. I look forward to seeing you in the nearest future. God bless you. In Jesus' name, bye for now.